News. Well, export of goods among East African region countries have dropped by over 30% in the last 10 years as individual countries embark on sustaining their needs. This is according to stakeholders attending a workshop organized by the African Continental Free Trade Area. The most affected goods include consumer products and farm equipment. African countries, including Kenya, began officially trading under the African Continental Free Trade Area on the 1st of January. Members must phase out 90% of tariff lines over the next five to ten years. Where we are now seeing to validate the implementation strategy for the Africa Continent of Free Trade Area Agreement. We realized trading began on 1st of January this year and now as a country we also want to make sure that we partake of that trading. Already a few countries have started, Ghana and South Africa. Kenya also do want to be left behind. That's the reason we are now here to see how do we domesticate that agreement, how do we now reap the benefits that come out of that agreement? 80% of our business, so thereabouts, 80 to 85%, are by the micro, small, and medium enterprises, better known as Wanjiko. And so that's what we are doing here to teach. I mean, to first agree and draft a proper strategy, then we will reach out to them and show them that if you have powdered milk in Kenya, it is possible to sell it in Egypt. If you have or you make something innovative or, or even your agriculture product, it is possible to access the African market without the steep tariffs that were there before. It's a much more friendly trading um, environment now for both the macro who are the big businessmen as well as the micro who are the small businessmen. Remember that we are advantaged even intellectually. As such, when we have a free trade area, a continental free trade area, we will not only trade in goods that we see, we are also able to trade in services. We are also able to render our services to the rest of the world where our unique skill sets are not yet known. So we can penetrate those markets to our advantage, creating jobs inevitably for our young people and therefore dealing quite aggressively with the issue of unemployment. If we are unable to consume locally, then we can move and push our goods and services to that market, that huge market, and you cannot satisfy that market. Well, speaking about satisfying that market, Africa's youth population is at the crossroad when it comes